Hello my fellow patriots, I'm Martin Costello. Well today we've all heard about the astonishing decision by Facebook to delete Tommy's account. He has now officially got a lifetime sentence in Facebook jail. There is no evidence of any hate speech from Tommy. It's just a weak excuse to remove him after he exposed the corrupt and lying BBC Panorama programme. It wasn't just him however, other people were removed too including many UKIP members. People have to start waking up now because this is totally unacceptable. If people have an issue with people like him, just stop following them, it's that simple. People like myself and Tommy are often branded fascists, which is laughable as a fascist is someone who suppresses free speech, just as we see as what's happening. We are living in very dark times indeed. Those who oppose Tommy may laugh at this, but it could well be you next, so I'd be very concerned. In the spirit of John Stuart Mills, we should embrace free speech so long as it doesn't incite violence. We should be allowed to challenge thoughts and ideas, otherwise we live in a dictatorship. The more they try to silence us for telling the truth, the more people will rise up against this oppression. There is a Tommy in every town and city up and down the country and we will not be silenced and we will shout louder and louder. I'm going to leave you these words from a prominent pastor from 1930s Germany. He emerged as an outspoken public foe of Adolf Hitler and he spent the last seven years of Nazi rule in concentration camps. He is perhaps best remembered for these post-war words. First they came for the socialists and I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. And then they came for me and there was nobody left to speak for me.